What's up my royal brothers and sisters? Today on Passport Kings, I'm going to tell you how to travel solo in this lonely world. Engage! So, you would probably think that the original Passport King Rockland is also the ultimate people person. But the funny thing is, I usually like to spend my downtime with either one special lady or no one at all. But, and this is a big but, when I think of exploring the planet, I love to see the happiness that Passport King's journeys brings to others as well as myself. Sometimes, it physically pains me to see something majestic like the Leaning Tower of Pisa and not have anyone to share that ultimate experience with. But recently, as I started taking this exotic travel movement more seriously, every time I ask close friends and immediate family to join me, their excuses are becoming more and more frequent. So I'm figuring maybe the travel bug's fangs aren't as deeply implanted in their necks as it is in mine. Or maybe they just can't because of work obligations and family obligations. So the last trip I took, I had to do it alone. And thank goodness I'm blessed to not have anchors that are pinning me down because of what I do for a living, which actually encourages and pays for my travels. But I'll tell you about that later in this series of videos. And because my daughter's in college now and she's pretty much an adult, and she's firmly stepping foot into her adulthood. Now traveling alone has ultimate highs, but it also has some lonely lows, but it is worth it. So in this first unprecedented two-part series of Passport Kings, I'm gonna spell out that experience with you. But first, check this out and I'll be right back to start my list called a Big Lonely Planet, my list of traveling's ups and downs when traveling alone or solo. I'll be right back. This week's episode of Passport Kings is brought to you by a product that really changed my life. It changed my life for the better and at a very young age. And it's called Revolutionary Sex. I used this product in college and it made women that I had sex with crazy about me. I gave total control over my sex parts and women craved to do it with me all the time, anytime. I'm serious. I was able to make women in the bedroom feel things that no other man could. They told me. The female orgasm and what makes women choose you to have sex with will be mysteries of the past. I honestly and wholeheartedly endorse this product. Click the link in the description below to get it for yourself. It's no drugs, no funny business. It's just an ebook. Imagine the confidence boost you'll have when you know that women crave you sexually just as much as you crave them. Alright, the first coolest part about being alone is once you internalize that you have no one to depend on but yourself, it's like an animalistic sense of direction starts to kick in. Cause in no time, you know the area around where you're staying like the back of your hand. I started to go three blocks down, then four blocks down, and the next thing you knew, I was taking shortcuts to night spots and local hangout. But if you're easily spooked, then this may not be that much of an advantage for you. But as I always say, I grew up in the roughest part of the Bronx. I was a scared there as a kid, and I damn sure won't be an adult and be walking around in fear just because I'm in another country. And additionally, Google Maps knows everything and everywhere. Turn your phone on, plug in your headset, and enjoy the tunes of Siri's older sister, and she'll be telling you which corners to turn. Here's advantage two. And this may start off as sounding mean, but I want you to bear with me on this one. There are people all over the planet and there are millions of different personalities. And it's real good to be able to bail on someone who's acting in a way that you don't enjoy or condone. And you won't have that pressure of feeling like you're not being loyal. I took a city bus one day to look around the city and it just so happens that I ran into another English speaking person at the bus stop. She was cool and she told me a lot about the city. And she also told me about the hottest spot in town. I got her number and I called her later so we could find a spot to meet up and go out later. I am in a relationship, but it was no harm, no foul. I was just going to find out the hot spots in the city. This girl must have gotten drugs between the time that I met her and the time that I spoke to her on the phone because Shorty was 
bonkers on the phone that evening. Good thing I called her from a blocked number, which means I didn't have to deal with that crazy lady that night. I just told her I was feeling sick and that I would stay in. And if you want to know the crazy thing she said to me, message me below and I'll tell you. But I'm just telling that story right now to let you know that I was so happy to meet her at first because it was a real big advantage, but ultimately I was able to bounce on her when I was ready. It just sucks that I still ran into her later that night. Here's advantage three. If I've drank too much the night before, I don't need no early bird bouncing around my outside of my door like a rabbit talking about let's go, let's go at 8.30 in the morning. Yes, I love sightseeing. I love sightseeing in the daytime, yes. But sometimes I like to wait till a little later so the sun could cool off a little bit. If the early bird gets the worm, who's to say you're not the worm in that scenario? But, but some of the times I'm the rabbit hopping outside my friend's door talking about, come on, come on, let's go. But when you travel alone, no version of this story happens. I can come and go as I please and do what I want when I want to do it. And that freedom is unsurpassed when time is of the essence and you're running out of time on your trip. Here's advantage four. Every time people get together, they say, what are we going to eat? Where are we going to eat? Which place are we going to eat? I like that place. Let's go eat. Let's. Well, sometimes I want to try different foods every day, and sometimes I want to try that same place that I ran into in a little secret location, and I feel like eating there every single day. And to make matters worse, there's some nights that there's nothing else calling my name more than some bacon and eggs and grits. And I'm positive that there's plenty of my friends who would have preferred not to eat breakfast for dinner, but I wanted to. And you know what? That was my prerogative. And here's advantage five. Passport King should be the playmaker and the coach. When you're alone, you won't have anyone to hand it off to or pass it to, but having total control makes you perform as a king. One of the main reasons why I created the Passport Kings was to get you out of your comfort zone. Stand up for yourself. Do what others before you wouldn't do. Do what others right now won't do. Shake up the foundation of your life. As any single child would tell you, being alone makes you independent. And independence gives you confidence. And confidence is the key to unlock all of this world's mysteries. Kings don't ask for permission while you're traveling solo. You won't need it. And that feels good. But don't go jumping off the deep end yet because there are some whack sides to being alone. Tune in next week and we're gonna go over those. And if you have any opinion on this subject, please comment below, I always answer. And remember to subscribe below, check out all of my videos, and be the first to know when a new one comes out. Like me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm Rockland, R-O-K-L-A-N, but on Facebook it's spelled R-O-K space L-A-N-D. And on Twitter, I am twitter.com slash passport underscore kings. And on Instagram, I'm at Passport Kings. But they're all listed below, so sign up to everything right now. Also, I got the new mailing list that I want you, if you're interested in traveling with the Passport Kings, I got the new mailing list that you should sign up to right now, so you'll be the first thing to know when we announce the new trip. And I also have the BM Travel Facebook group that will be going secret in the next three weeks because I want it to be a secret group that only us people know about, us, us Passport Kings know about. And of course, come to my website, www.passportkings.com. Listen, you only live once. Live the f*** out of life. Walk, sit, talk, and travel like a king. A passport king. I'll talk to y'all next week. Peace out. Sometimes it physically pains me. I'm starting over. My list of boom. But ultimately, I was able to bounce on her when I was when I was ready to. Ultimately, I was ready to.